Oh, tell me how you feel, chilling with the big dog, giving you the real deal. No lies or gimmicks, keep it authentic. It's time to turn up, yeah, it's time to get it. Hey. What's up guys, what is up? This is Big Dog, once again, with another podcast. Let's get right to it. What's today's podcast gonna be about? Well, today, I think it's about life and how simple life is, but unfortunately, we make life harder than it is. Do you agree with me? Every single little thing on earth, we make so complicated. Have you ever... Have you ever seen the people who are extremely wealthy, the people who have everything, the people who drive fancy cars, the people who come dressed from head to toe, you know, decked out to perfection? You watch them, you see them, they always look miserable. And then you got a, then you got a person who drives around un cacharro, who drives around a broken down car, wears regular clothes, Let's say, we'll use the gym, for example, comes to the gym and, and, and you see them, they don't look dressed to impress and they're always happy. Why is that? I always think about that. Why do we have that? Why, why the person that, let's say you did work hard, you worked hard for everything you've wanted, you've busted your ass, you grinded, you did everything possible to have what you have on a silver platter with blood, sweat, and tears, but you're miserable. You still want more. It's never enough, huh? And life is that simple. But then when you don't have anything, it's like when I go to other countries, you see the people, they they sleep in hammocks, they they live together all all together in the same roof, under the same roof, the whole entire 10, 15, 20 people in a household, but they're always happy, they're always sharing everything. And then you got people that have everything and they, they... They have a big mansion, seven, eight, nine bedrooms, six bathrooms, and they're always mad. Or they don't spend time with each other. I'm too tired. I'm too busy working. I'm too busy this. I'm too busy that. It's always something. I don't know. As I got older, I've appreciated life that much more. I have taken a step back and just enjoy life. I've been busting my ass for years, been grinding for years, and... It's time to just chill. But that's what happens when you get older. Yeah, I think after you start passing your 40s plus, like me, you start to uh, see life in a different way. Because life is simple. You never knew, you never know that when you used to listen to those old people and you always see them, they, they, they walk slow, they talk slow, they tell you stories, they sit down outside in a little chair and they conversate with one another, they play dominoes, whatever the case may be, and you see them that they're happy. You know why? Because everything that you're going through right now, everything that we're going through right now, they've already went through it. All the bullshit, all the lies, hypocrites, snickering, talking shit, envy, jealousy, hate, all that stuff, they already went through it. You know what happens? A lot of us love to, we we get anxiety because we look at social media. Haven't you felt that when you haven't seen it in a while, you're that much happier? You haven't been on your Instagram. Unfortunately, for me, all I do is repost. I put stuff of everyone, of the business, of our community, of the gym, etc. That's it. That's it. And I'm done. That's it. But when you start scrolling, you start seeing things you don't want to see, like an algorithm. It starts showing you stuff that you don't want to see, people you don't want to see, etc. The list goes on. But when you're away from it, your life is simple. Your life is easy. It's what you wanted it to be. Am I right or am I wrong? But then you got others. You look at them, 24 hours, 20 pictures in one day, 30 pictures in one day, You think that's a life? Looking at themselves, taking pictures of themselves. Everything is by themselves. There is nothing with another person. It's always them. It's all about them. It's their world. You really think that they're happy? You really think life is that simple for them? Or it's actually more complicated? Do they have to really do it? 
Do their sponsors make them do it? What is it? Do you really know? I think their life is harder than yours. And then you say, I want to do that. I want to be like that. Look at this person. Look at that person. I don't do that shit. I don't look at this person. I don't look at that person. I can care less. So many people want to be like others. Why? Be yourself. I mean, you are who you are. You can't be that person regardless. You never will be that person regardless. You don't have their DNA, etc. So why do you want to be someone else? Why do you want to be like someone else? Haven't you seen their rhythm? You see how many things they change all the time? They change their social media like they change their underwear. They don't know where they're going. They don't know what they're doing. They have no clue. They're so frustrated. You see so many lies. You see one second you see them in a home. The next second you see them in an apartment. They're, you're like, you ask yourself, what the hell happened to your house that you say you bought, but now you live in an apartment? It was fake. It was that they were renting. They were renting a home. Now they live in an apartment. Those type of things. Those are just small details of what I'm trying to tell you. One day you see them with a badass car, and then you see them back with a Honda. Phenomenal car. But you see them in a BMW, top of the line, pimped out for him and for her. And then all of a sudden, you see them in a regular car. Actually, you see them in one car because they couldn't afford both. They had to get rid of that car. Now they drive a regular car. You get what I mean? Be happy with what you have. Be happy with the current situation that you are in. When you create something, make sure that you're creating it for your surroundings, meaning your family, your loved ones, for the, for the person you love, for the people you love, etc., it's like I tell these kids all the time. They always hear, say the same word. I hear the same thing. I want to be famous. I tell them, being famous, that life is hard. Fame dies. I never hear anybody saying that they want to be a legend. You know why they don't want to be a legend? Because it takes too long. <laughs> it takes too many years. 30, 40, 50 plus years. Or when you're dead, you're remembered. Isn't that the greatest thing in the world that you can be remembered forever, not forgotten? Fame dies, guys, and legends last forever. No matter whether they're talking good about you or bad about you, you're being remembered. You get what I mean? But nowadays, we don't have that. There's too many crazy things going on. Too many sensitivity. Too many people are sensitive. Everything is a problem. Everything is a situation. Nah. I take it nice and slow. Every problem has a solution. Every situation can be handled. And you know what? With what? Communication. That is the number one thing. We are so quick to fight. We are so quick to throw a tantrum. We are so quick to do what we're going to regret. We're so quick to do that. And you're going to regret it. Not at the moment. But you will. So I analyze. What can I say? Who cares if you like me? Who cares if you don't? I'm just happy to be doing what I love, to create it what I love. People are going to try to take you down left and right, no matter what you do, whether you have something or you don't. I love staying off of the social media. My wife always says it. Why are we quick to post a picture? Why do we want everybody to know where we're at, what we're doing? Do it later. Do it in a month from now. Somebody will tell you something like, oh shit, you went there last week or you went there on Saturday or whatever on the weekend. And you're like, no, I went there a month ago. She's right. Why do I have to announce everything to the world? I already do enough by talking. I already do enough by reposting. I already do enough, which is enough, which is for everyone else. And putting other people out there to make them feel good about themselves and be happy with themselves, I think that's the greatest thing. And that's why life is so simple. Try not to make your life so complicated. You're only doing it, and it's only going to hurt you in the long run. You really think people care what happens to you? Let me tell you something. I went somewhere the other day, and my wife will tell you every single time I go somewhere, out of the country, out of the state, wherever it's at, something always happens. And when it happens, it seems like, and I swear, I swear, I promise, my wife will tell you it's happened more than a dozen times. Every single time I go somewhere, something happens to someone else and I have to save their life in an instinct 
without even thinking about it while everyone else is just watching, looking, gawking. Oh my God, what's going on? The person's fucking choking. No one does anything. Everyone freezes. Everyone. And I don't know how I do it. I don't know what it is that I do. And I just go ahead and do it. I'll never forget when I was in Las Vegas, a little boy was choking. I think he was allergic to something. What did I do? I didn't put my finger down his throat because he was going to bite my finger off. What did I do? I put a spoon in his mouth so he wouldn't swallow his own tongue. Waited for the rescue to come. I don't know why. I don't know how, but that's how God blesses me. I'm always either giving advice. I'm always inspiring people. A lot of people hate me for that. Um, I'm always giving my opinion to things when people ask me. They don't want that. They don't want to hear the opinion. They want to hear what they want to hear. Sweet whispers in their ear like if it was pouring sweet wine into a cup. That's all they want to hear, but they don't want to hear the truth when I talk. But I always will. I'll never sugarcoat anything. I'll never cut corners and I always tell you like it is. I always tell you the real deal. And the last time I went out, something happened to a girl. She must have twisted her ankle, got her hand caught into the thing, took her hand out, laid her down, laid her feet out, put something behind her head. Reaction. We don't react. We just watch. But I do. No matter what the situation is, I don't know why. I'll jump into the water. I'll go save someone's life. That's just me. It doesn't have to be you. It's just not in your DNA. That's why I don't want to be anyone else. That's why I love being myself. It's who I am. It's what I was made from. It's what, what my DNA is. I'm quick on my feet. I do multiple things. I have multiple tasks. I can listen and do 50,000 things at the same time. Everybody will tell you this guy always comes in the morning. I always throw water outside and then I mop the floor and I put incense and I spray and I go here and I do this. Everyone will tell you the same thing. I'm always picking up this, doing that, going here, going to Restaurant Depot. doesn't matter, going for the food truck, for the gym, whatever it is, the case may be. I'm always everywhere. I am a multitasker. I wouldn't change it for the world. I love being myself. You know who... Who I inspire to be a better version of myself in 10 years. That's who I want to be in the next 10 years. I want to catch that person. I might not. I might not because the following 10 years, I'm going to want to be better than that person. And that's who my uh, whenever you tell somebody, who do you want to be or who do you aspire to be or who's your inspiration? It's myself. I inspire myself by looking 10 years ahead. But I'm going to leave it there. Life is simple. Life is easy. Don't make it complicated. This is Big Dog kicking you the real deal as always. And I like to leave you like we always do. Bada boom, bada bang, chuck a chung, chick a chang, and I'm out this motherfucker. What it do? Go tell me how you feel. Uh-huh. Chilling with the big dog, uh-huh. giving you the real deal. No lies or gimmicks, keep it authentic. Uh-huh. It's time to turn up, yeah, it's time to get it. Hey.